شد Hi, Dr. Stephen Smith, and today I'd like to talk to you about methylation pathways. Uh, most of the people that come to see me already know they have a problem with MTHFR because they've had the test done, and they're still having some problems. Well, one of the reasons is they haven't looked at all of the factors that go into methylation. Methylation is a fairly long pathway, and there's a number of components to it and a number of components that affect the pathway. So really stop getting just an MTHFR profile and we get a more complete genetic profile such as the 23andMe profile or one by doctor's data. This profile shows us actually more information than we really know what to do with at this point but these are some of the ones that we look at the COMT, MTRR, MTR, CBS, and BHMT. Now, if these enzymes are heterozygous or homozygous, then that may present some problems during the methylation pathway. For example, we have found that people that have this MT, one strain of the MTRR may have problems with methyl B12, even though they're an MTHFR 1298 and they typically would need methyl B12. But we found that if we add hydroxy B12 to the mix, all of a sudden the methyl B12 now starts to work. So you see scenarios something like this. A person, say, with a 677 uh, MCHFR will come in, and that particular anomaly usually responds well to L-methylfolate. I typically use Deplin, which is a medical food, or a supplement. The patient starts to get better, and then they stop or start to get worse. And that's because they've corrected one spot on this pathway, but created a problem at another spot. The other thing that can occur is a basic violation of one of my rules, which is drainage must always succeed detoxification. But what does that mean? It means that you're, when you're detoxifying, you're trying to get the toxins out of the body. But if they get stuck halfway because they can't, the pathways are somewhat stuck, then you'll have a buildup of toxins in this intermediate tissues, like the lymphatic space, which is the area outside the cell, but still in the tissue there, sort of in the matrix, if you will. And toxins in that space can really make you feel bad. So there's a number of things we have to do. One is improved drainage. And the other is to look at these other factors and see if we need to add other supplementation to make the entire pathway function normally. So I hope that helps you understand why you may have some problems if you just look at MTHFR alone and do not consider the other components of the methylation pathway.